So the final step after we've narrated our PowerPoint presentation is that we want to get a recording that doesn't have all the fumbling and setup at the beginning and the end of our PowerPoint presentation. We just want the presentation with the slides and the audio only. So what we need to do is actually edit the video that we created from the QuickTime player, the new screencast recording that we did. So here's the video, and I'll just open it up real quick to, quick to show you that I do some fumbling around and I start the slideshow, and then we get to the slides. What I want to do is get rid of all that and just start right at the first slide. So I'm going to close this window, and I need to use a program called MPEG Stream Clip. And the easiest way to get there is to right click on this file, on this video file, and say Open With and then choose MPEG Stream Clip. And so here is our movie inside MPEG Stream Clip, and we're just going to do a basic trimming of the video. And I'll show you how we do that. I want to scroll the scroll bar until we get to the first slide and just kind of approximate it. So that's where we want to go. I'm going to back it up maybe just a little bit and get to the point where we transition into these slides. So right, right around here. Now I just need to use my arrow key. I'm going to use the right arrow key to move forward a frame at a time. And when I see the first slide come up, that's the spot that I want to use as an in point in my video. I'm going to hit the I key on the keyboard. And so that's my endpoint. This is all the, the selected video here. All this stuff will be rejected later on. The next thing I need to do is choose my out point. So I'm going to go to the end of all the slides and get to the point where I escaped out of my presentation. We'll back it up a little bit and then we'll again move the arrow key to the right to get to that spot where we start to uh, switch back to the PowerPoint interface. So I'm just moving forward through the slides hitting the arrow key and now I've gotten to my PowerPoint interface. So let's back it up just a couple of frames. That's the out point that we want to choose. I'll hit the O key on the keyboard and now we've got this section of the video here that is just the PowerPoint presentation that I narrated. The last step is to go to the file menu, I'm sorry, to the edit menu and choose trim. Now that is just the video of, of the slides that I narrated. Then we will save this. We'll go to the File menu, choose Save As, and I'm going to call it something just a little bit different. I'll call it PowerPoint Video. We'll save it to the desktop. Here is that video. Let me just double click on it, and I can play it, and it will start to play that video with the audio narration. And if I scrub the scrub bar to the end, you will see that it, that it ends on the last slide and you don't see any of the PowerPoint interface. So that's how you're going to quickly edit your narrated PowerPoint presentation. Hope that helps and thanks for watching.